Hello and welcome to the very basics of car mechanics. In fact, so basic that it's not even car mechanics. This is this is maintenance. This is this is the one plus one. But we all got to start somewhere, remember? And uh, well, I figured I might as well show you on my progress of starting. As embarrassing and frustrating and simple to you guys it might be, I'm new. What can I say? Okay, so here I have uh, stripped the carpets, taken out the panel that keeps the drive motor in, and look what I found! Proof that this car is paying itself off already. Now this is a torque screw. Now I'm a bit feeble, so I'm going to then adapt a screw onto a ratchet, and easy peasy. Oh, and also always remember to use some cheeky uh, lubricating oil. Easy. So basically, what we're going to do is going to you put your tool in like so, uh, and then this is the, the fun bit. You just ratchet it away and watch whatever you want come out. Simple as that. Only thing when it doesn't get simple is when things don't cooperate. And uh, believe me, uh, with classic cars, things don't cooperate. Now we motor the seat fully forward. Ah, uh, there we go. Just finished. It's us out. I did it! I'm stuck, but I did it! Ah! Stop damaging my car! Naughty chair! And this is what a car looks like when you've got no front seats in it anyway. It looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Now, including discomfort. Latest feature. Oh, ow. Yeah, that is a small problem with being quite low down. But hey, it works! I think. I can't, I literally can't st stay in the car. I'm not joking. I, I could ride like this. Right, this is the sort of setting I'm having to do. See that, that, that ratchet? Well, welcome ratchet number two. Ah. Me, it took a long time to realise that the both ratchets have to be effectively pointed in the same direction. Uh, but then I have to use my own strength to hold the other ratchet while I remove the bolt. Sorry, nut, nut and bolt. Yeah, same thing really, isn't it? Don't ask me how or why, but the second bolt, which you can just about make out there, that, for some bizarre reason, is not the half inch that I just used, it's actually 13 millimetres. How lovely is that? Look what I had to use in the end. Holy mac. That is how you do it, boys. That is how you get one hell of a seized nut out. And look at the results. It's already wobbling. Come on, car. Let's do this together. Okay, so just finished putting on this hand thing by by hand. That is an entire new wheel because my old one was very, very flat and uh, a bit mucky. So this will now become the new spare. Uh, and uh, yeah, time to, time to load the car. Big suck. Slowly, 